Baby audio. It's not just for babies. This is no place for kids. They've just released a new plugin called Atom, and it's a synthesizer. And today, this plugin of the week, I'm going to just dive into this thing. I'm going to open it up for the first time. I'm just going to give you first reactions, initial response to this stuff. Let's keep it 100% organic and legit. Are you serious? So I hope you guys are ready for this one. Radium pow. Let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna open up Adam for the very first time. I'm just demoing this. Baby Audio did not give me this plugin. They did not tell me to review it or anything like that. So there's no affiliation. All right, I'm just gonna give you guys my real initial response and reaction to this a synth. And I love synths. I worked for Mark Mothersbaugh for about five years when I first came to LA. He has one of the best analog synth collections in the world. He inspired me to really kind of work with a bunch of different analog synths and try a bunch of different plugins. So I've been pretty obsessed since then. And it's been 12, 15 years now where I'm just obsessed with synths. So let's hear this thing. I want to open it up right away. I'm just gonna go to instrument and open up baby audio. And here we go. And this is what you get, got it. First off, I love this. I think this is really cool and fun and you could see things kind of automating and that kind of interests me. And I don't know why, probably because I have ADHD. Actually, he's a genius. Even though I'm a 40 year old man, <laughs> you know, uh, still I, I like colors and weird stuff happening on screen. I'm like, yeah, dude, sick. <laughs> Keep my brain entertained. You okay? So dope, let's see, initial preset. What do we got here? Let's hear it. I don't know about how useful that'll be for me, but um, it's a very cool sound. I like how the, the sound is kind of, it's kind of wonky. That reminds me of analog synths. Let's see what else we got here. I'm gonna go through a couple ambience, a couple bass, and then I'm gonna throw this into this track that I'm working on. First, let me just play you this track and I'll show you what I'm doing here. And then we're gonna try to get this synth to fit into this track. <laughs> All right, some sync licensing stuff that I'm working on right now. So let's take that lead line and let's just copy it down to Adam. And it's just like kind of a bass lick, but I've stacked up a bunch of synths on it. So I've taken the Juno and put it in. I've printed in also some stuff from the Trigon 6. If you don't know what the Trigon 6 is, that synth is super dope. So let's see how this thing stacks up. I'm going to go with like a lead sound here. Atomic Flute, let's check it out. <laughs> Right, so right away what I'm hearing naturally that's occurring with this synth and this is probably by design now everything is like super reverberated it's like oh we have to be super spacious and big and take up a bunch of room funny that's cool I love that but I'm kind of looking for a drier sound let's see if we can find a drier kind of tight lead sound let's go to the radioactive and let's see if this pack has some leads in here okay we got an angry pluck let's try this out <laughs> That's dope. That fits really nicely. So for the win. And that's like the first preset that I picked out of the expansion here, radioactive. So that's kind of tight. I love expansion packs with every synth I use. Omnisphere, Silent, Spire. Spire has some really cool sound packs. Let's see what we have for tweakability on this synth. Everybody loves tweakability. And I also want to understand what's going on here. So we have a chaos motion, introduces nonlinear behavior, pitch glides and detuning. That's cool. Kind of like made, I think, more for like trap music and stuff. Trap modern R&B, things like that. I guess pop music as well. We got force, controls the pressure of the bow on the mass spring network, adds noisiness from increased friction. Okay, so that's kind of cool string kind of sounds, it sounds like. So let's solo this out and start to mess with some of these parameters because I want to hear what they're doing. Okay, I found the culprit down here on the right bottom. You have the space 
XY pad. And I feel like every preset made is just got that cranked up. And it's like, cool, reverb. Like sometimes with reverb, I think, like I get the same thing with the Trigon. They always have like all these patches in there with the reverb on, hauls and delays and all this stuff. And it's like, I usually go and turn them off because <laughs> I'm like, let me hear the patch. Are you mad? If I want to add my reverb, I'll add reverb. If I want to add delay, I'll add delay. But with a synth, I want like the preset to be like, this is the synth. Now add whatever you want to it. it. It's almost like you can't screw it up. You know what I mean? And then this looks like we got a sine saw drift. So we have like motion here as well. So it looks like some modulation stuff, automation. And then we have force. So it's just like an automatic modulation kind of thing that's happening with a sine wave or a saw wave, or it looks like a drift, like a pitch drift kind of vibe, just like a slow motion thing. That's kind of fun. And then we have drive. So everything you can add motion to, which is cool. And then down here we have, okay, we can go up octaves, profile, lo-fi. Okay, cool. This is kind of dope. So you have inharmonic, lo-fi, and alternative. Let's go lo-fi here. And then you have attack release, ADSR pretty much, attack release movement, which is different, depth and speed of the bowing back and forth. So it seems like this is kind of about bowing. I'm getting that from it with the force and the movement stuff. And then you have modulation and you have vibrato and then the space. And that's everything it looks like. So let's just kind of hear this in the mix. Pretty easy to dial in a sound, which that's dope. That's what I love about a good synth. The only reason you have synths like the Juno 106 or a Prophet 6 or a Moog D, right? It's like the only reason to have those synths is because you turn them on and you tweak a couple things and you're like, that sounds dope. <laughs> you're wasting my time. And it sounds good in the record and in the sounds and you can get it to work in a mix. And right away, I feel like this is working in the mix, which is really cool. The fact that there's just one filter here. And if you guys are liking this, of course, you know, hit the like button, drop a comment. Let me know. All right. I'm going to do more content for you as long as you share the shows and you show some love. All right. So let's check out some more presets here. Let's hear the basses. Funk metal. This might be fun. <laughs> That bass is dope. I love that. So vintage fuzz bass. This is my first initial reaction, you guys. I didn't plan any of this. I didn't check out the synth before. I'm just showing you like, I'm opening this thing up and I'm like checking it out. This is what, what I think of it. This is like my first initial reaction. Really, really cool, unique, modern sounding synth. Lots of space and reverb comes on a lot of the presets. It's a little bit confusing to get around. Really hard to kind of mess up because there's only these controls here. Everything can be modulated. It's got cool colors. It's like entertaining and it sounds good. Like, I think it sounds good. So that's all I got for you. Plug in the week. I'm out of here. Adams by Baby Audio. Again, not just for babies, also for adults. Go check it out, guys.